It's a dusty time of year for Prince George. On average, the city sweeps over 15,000 tons of sand every spring. However, with recent air quality advisories, sweeping operations have not been in full force. Coughing or sneezing more than usual? Symptoms from underlying respiratory conditions are more frequent during air quality advisories. People with asthma may need to up their medication or um, see their family doctor if the if their symptoms worsen. Exercise indoors rather than outdoors, they may want to wear a respiratory mask to prevent any further um, inhalation of particles. There are ways you can help improve Prince George's air quality. Driving less, so um, reduce the amount of vehicle emissions so that it's not contributing to those worsened air quality conditions. And during an air quality event in Prince George, public transportation is free, so you can take advantage of those kinds of things. City sweepers help to minimize the amount of dusty fumes released into the air. In the downtown, we use a, we call it fracture. It consists of mainly small particles of rock, and it doesn't have all the the sandy the sand component that turns to dust easier. Uh, with the goal of obviously reducing uh, the amount of dust in the air. However, there are some factors that can't be controlled. What I understand is that weather conditions recently have prevented the crews from getting out there right away, being that it was a bit colder and then snow still coming and things like that. Sweeping operations started again this past weekend because of the rain. Without rain, there's a greater chance for dust to accumulate because... Yeah, you know, I mean, just lack of air movement and, and lack of moisture in the air. Sweeping crews will be working day and night to clean the streets. To find more information of what areas will be swept first, log on to the city website. Devin Johnson, CKPG News.